Hey guys, Brian from Brian Boas here. Well, it looks like I have another female that just gave birth, and this was one of my two morph pairings for this year, the first year that I've doing any morph pairings. And unfortunately, my first morph pairing was uh, slugs and didn't get any babies, so that was disappointing. But this is my second chance. This is a Moran jungle female that I bred to a Moran jungle male. Um, you know, so I'm really excited about the possibilities. I didn't see any babies, but she definitely looks like she's less swollen up. So I think there's might be something in there. So let's go take a quick look and see if we have any babies. We're gonna check out this litter, and uh, I'm pretty sure she delivered because she really looks thin and deflated, and she was looking really big, you know, uh, just the other day. So there you can see the mother. She's a Moran jungle and yeah, she definitely, her abdomen is all thin looking and she's kind of moving around. So uh, I don't see any babies. So whatever happened is underneath the hide and you know, because I don't see anything moving, I'm a little worried. You get my snake stick here and just gently nudge her out of the way so I don't get bitten. She might be a little aggressive after passing the litter. Uh, let's see, you know, and I had another morph litter that I slugged out on, it was really rough, just a couple weeks ago. I had high hopes for that one, but, you know, it didn't uh, materialize, so, uh, well, I see a few babies, I see quite a few slugs, the bane of every boa breeder's existence, let's see. So I see three babies there, and I see, I don't know, maybe five or six slugs. There might be another baby hiding somewhere. Well, at least the babies look healthy. They're moving around. See some definite jungle patterns. You know, what I was really hoping for was a Super Moran, which I have a one in four chance, you know, with this particular cross, but uh, I don't know, with three babies and you only have a one in four chance, I don't think it happened because the Super Moran is so distinctive, it just really stands out. So some of these guys may be Morans, which are nice, um, but like I said, I definitely see some jungle patterns. So I'm going to take the mother out, give her a soak, and then we'll take a closer look at the babies. Looks like I spoke too soon. I went to get the water to soak the mother. and. In the time I was doing that, she actually had another baby, so I just left her alone for a few hours. Actually, took the dog for a walk and came back to let her make sure she was done. And she's done now and soaking. And looks like I got looks like six babies. Um, and then you can see the slugs there. That one, two, three, four, five, six. Unfortunately, eight slugs, which. It's never great to see slugs, especially when there's more slugs than babies, but. Uh, Looks like we got some real nice jungle patterns there. So I'm just gonna turn the camera off and move it around a bit. I actually got the tub down on the floor now. It was uh, the second from the top on the rack, so it made it a little bit difficult to work with, but I can see better what we have here. So you can see definitely some jungles. Looks like there's six babies and eight slugs. There's one it's definitely Moran. Might be Super Moran. No, definitely one really does stand out. Let me zoom in on that one. So you can see that one in the center there. It's definitely a standout. Uh, I think that might be a Super. Wow. It definitely has a lot of red in it. It's, you know, possibly a Super. If not, just a high expression single copy Moran. And it has a really wicked jungle pattern. Wow, look at that. That's definitely a... I would call that living art, definitely. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we got six babies. They look like they're in pretty good shape, pretty big. So I think that might be just a normal, non-morph, non-locality, normal, you know, Colombian, common, Colombian type pet shop. And, you know, I'm kind of psyched because I've never actually produced just a normal wild type boa that's not locality so really cool you know um has a really nice tail see that tail on that normal i'm guessing it's a normal it doesn't look like it's either jungle or moran um but yeah it's cool to finally produce just a normal boa and there's a jungly looking one not sure if it's 
Moran or not. And a couple more look definitely jungle. Again, not sure if it's Moran or not. You know, also there's a possibility of getting a super jungle from this cross because it was a jungle Moran crossed with a jungle Moran. And I know, you know, the super jungle is a little bit controversial. Some people say it's lethal. Some people say that they can do fine. But I don't know if I produced one, but it's probably a little too early to, you know, to tell before these guys have even been taken out of the tub. And I'll just leave you with a shot of the, the standout. Unfortunately, with two slugs that, you know, didn't make it. But this guy, we'll just have to see what he looks like. So now I'm going to remove the babies and put them in a... Uh, Sterilite uh, 15 gallon tub with some moist paper towels So I went ahead and took the female out of the tub She soaked for a few hours and while I was soaking her I went and I uh, Just thoroughly disinfected her tub and put in some new substrate and So now she's back there and ready to go and she did real great. She's actually trying to get out She's probably quite hungry, so I'll Definitely feed her tomorrow, but I'm just going to give her some peace and quiet and let her start to recover. Well, it's been a few hours and I came to change the paper towels and thought I'd do some quick filming of these babies. And so you can see they're moving around. I just have them in a pretty simple setup with paper towels and a, a 56 quart Sterilite tub. You can see the babies there. So looking at them, I'd say all but one of them appear to have jungle. And then most of them also appear to have the Moran as well, although it's kind of hard to tell. Um, as I mentioned, there's one normal. You can see a, a, he's in the back there. He might be Moran, just have to see after he sheds what his colors look like. And then there's the one that I'm pretty sure is a super Moran jungle. You can see the red starting to show already, the one in the corner there. And we'll just have to see how he or she looks after uh, shedding. But that's just a insane looking animal right there with that uh, collar and those jungle patterns. Really amazing looking animal. There's a close up of the Super Moran and it just really insane looking markings on this animal. Really, really cool looking animal. But uh, got some really nice, I believe to be Moran jungles as well. You can see some of the jungle patterns right there. I just love it when the jungles have some normal saddles and some barren saddles and some connected saddles. Just a really cool look. There's another one here that I believe is a jungle Moran and you can see he or she has saddles, regular, pretty much regular saddles for the first, you know, half or two thirds of his or her body. And then you can see the striping towards the tail. So really a cool look. Pretty sure this one is a jungle moron. And last, but certainly not least, is the normal. And this one certainly isn't jungle. I guess it could be moron, but uh, probably not. But can't beat a nice normal. You can see the nice saddles and you can see this one has a really nice tail color, the reddish on the tail. So just nice normal Colombian type boa imperator slash pet shop boa. These guys will stay in this simple setup for about a week and a half or so till they shed. You can see I added a water dish, although they probably won't be drinking much. It does help raise the humidity. And I have them on a hot, uh, uh, just a heat mat set to 90 degrees on one side. And I'll just mist them down every couple hours or so. Keep them nice and moist. And then after they shed, they'll be off into their own individual tubs. So I thought I'd end this video by giving you guys a look at the dad. This is a Moran jungle male. Unfortunately, this guy's in shed right now. And he's pretty deep in shed. So, you know, his colors are really muted. But, you know, it gives you an idea of what the jungle moron looks like. You know, it's got the aberrant patterns and, you know, the clean, clean overall look of the jungle, plus the pastel colors of the moron. So really a cool combination. The moron jungle is definitely one of my favorite two uh, gene morph combo animals. 
with this particular cross of a Moran jungle cross with another Moran jungle, there's a number of possibilities. These are both incomplete dominant genes. So you can get normal wild type animals, you can get jungles, you can get Morans, you can get jungle Morans, you can get super Morans, you can get super jungles, and you know, super jungle Morans, Moran, super jungle, and then even the super jungle super Moran, which I don't even know if uh, any of those have ever been created yet. Um, so I'm not quite sure what the all the genotypes and phenotypes of my babies are. Looks like I've got you know several different, possibly even the super moron. But you know we'll just have to see. As soon as the babies shed, I'll have a better idea of you know exactly what they are, and I'll keep you guys up to date. I'll do an update video so you can see the babies after they shed, and maybe I'll have a better handle of what's uh, the exact you know, uh, identification of these babies is. But overall, I'm really happy. It's my first morph litter. So it's definitely a different kind of feeling than breeding a locality litter, you know. Um, and yeah, we'll just have to see. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, shoot me any questions or comments you have. Thanks for watching and enjoy your, enjoy your boas.